Boom, insulated. Just kidding, but if you do want to learn how to actually insulate shipping container doors, follow along this video. We're going to show you how to install the container modification world door flashing kits. What I'm holding here is our container door flashing kit. And then what William's got is our container wall flashing kit. And so these things, we've been selling them for a while now to the DIYers, but they've been like nine feet long, nine and a half, like 10 foot long boxes that we've had to ship all across the planet. And that gets expensive. So we broke these things down to fit in a four foot box. This is huge. And by doing this, we accidentally made them way easier to install. It took out so much of the guesswork. So this new design has the DIYer in mind. It is very simple. It does a lot of the thinking for you and it gives you the ultimate way to insulate your shipping container doors and trim right up to that with your interior wall coverings. Stay tuned, hope you learned something. There we go. So that's new for this kit. We can actually assemble it right on the floor. And William says it's nice that it's a little bit floppy, so to speak, where uh, you can still massage it into place on the container door. So let's do that now. Wow, it just snapped right in there. Give it a kick. There we go. Oh, perfect. That's. That's sweet. Looked like we were banging on that a little bit, but that is like compression fit. That's hanging there by itself. And there's variance between shipping containers. Not all doors are perfect, but how well that fit, that is just like a thousandth of an inch, beautiful engineering. And so there's some really cool features that allow it to do that. And so I want to get you up nice and close and show you. So where the two flashings were uh, secured together, that little return tab now defines how far this needs to be out from the door. So before there was some variance where uh, the installer could actually make it, you know, go a little wonky on you. So that holds it just very nice there, similar to how our steel stud brackets define the interior wall planes. And then if we jump up top, uh, the one return fold here, that's what allows this kit to hook onto the top of this uh, two by four rec tube here and then there's just holes over here before previous kits had holes here, but it's just, they would be rogue holes and not going into anything. And then spray foam would actually fly out of there. So uh, another revision to the design where we only secure it into the hollow sections. Again, very similar to our steel stud brackets where we're only going into the, the top 60 millimeter tubing of a container. So very much follows the theory behind our patented stud brackets. And this just ties all of that together and allows you to insulate your shipping container doors and have them remain operational and give you the best vapor barrier possible. And so that was quite simple. We just drilled out through all the pre laser cut holes and riveted this frame to the door. Uh, the final thing we need to do is just install the rivets into the four corners. So that's it right there. Uh, if you now need to insulate these, our strong suggestion is spray foam insulation. And so once you spray foam this, there's room here for two inches of foam all on the container door. And then you're wondering, well, there's this flange here on all four sides. How do I finish it? So what you gotta do, sometimes when we know we're spray foaming and then finishing it sliding in a piece of plywood or our reline wall panels, we'll actually install these with a the self-tapping screw to start. Then we can remove them slide in our interior wall covering and then reinstall this after foam. And so I know you DIYers are busy. Uh, you probably don't want to watch me do the other door. So let's just install this wall flashing kit and then we'll let you be on your way. We've added components to this kit to make it easier to install because before we just had one piece, we'd actually cut this rod here and slide it in and then we'd have to drill on an angle and screw on an angle and that was hard on drill bits. We'd probably go through four drill bits just trying to install one wall flashing kit. So now we have these pieces that allow us to just drill straight into this corner post. This is a hollow section, so you're not gonna go through the other side. And then if you see one edge is longer than the other one, the short face goes against the corner post and you align this long 
face of the angle here perfectly flush with the corner post. So if you get that in place, whether you mark or center punch your holes, drill them out. And then I love rivets, but you could self tapping screw this, you could thread cutting screw this, whatever, get it secured. A little pro tip is to blow or sweep away all the drill shards because once those shards touch humidity, they'll either pit right into your wood floor or begin the rusting prematurely on all the steel members in your shipping container. So if you see right here, there's a notch and that notch signifies the underside of this casting. And you want to line up that notch to that casting in order to get your uh, your steel stud brackets and things. If you're if you're utilizing the other components that container modification world sells, you're going to want to make sure that this is lining up properly, so that in the instance of a wood stud bracket, if this is installed at the right plane, you're going to take two inches of rigid foam and be able to stuff it right into here, and then just finish up to this nicely. So if we cut this out of it to make this fit, because our side piece is a little bit too long because of variance of containers, that's going to affect the height of this. But if we go and cut the side piece down, the 316th or whatever it's looking like it needs, then we'll be at the right height. So I grab a marker, eyeball that for Will, you can see I did it crooked. Cut it straight! Good thing somebody cut it straight. One thing we do notice is when we install the door flashing kits, every container seems to just be mint, like within a millimeter of each other. And I think that's, you know, they're all ordering these rubber door seals to fit the doors and they all gotta be perfect. But when we get to the doorway, for some reason, we do find variants in every container. We find variances in batches of containers from the same manufacturer. So when it just comes to simply installing the door flashing kit, you have to be more of a fitter to be able to put the wall flashing kit in. So there's always gonna be one or two uh, little problems, rogue welds, something in your way that you're gonna have to solve, but it will go in if you use your thinker and it will make your container modification much cleaner. Woo, we are done. So, it's been a while since we designed that kit. We broke it down into multiple pieces to be able to ship and sell on e-commerce, which means you can buy this kit now on Amazon or on containermodificationworld.com. Uh, but yeah, so it, it's, it's shipping friendly. It's a lower cost to ship, and so therefore might be a bit cheaper for you to purchase, but there are more components to it to make it cheaper to ship. So I don't know if that all balances out, but there are a lot of really cool features that we put into this. I remember when we were designing it, uh, it's hard to remember them all now. Maybe we haven't captured them all in this video for you. I apologize if we haven't, but it is a very sleek kit. It takes away a lot of the thinking uh, and it pairs very well with our wood stud brackets or our steel stud brackets. They're all designed together as a system and it all comes together nicely if you purchase all those products. So if you enjoyed this video, please help us out, give the video a like, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to our channel and ring that bell for notification. And as always, Check us out at tcg.ca. Hope you learned something.